Yo, what's up everybody? I'm Akeem Lawanton and in today's Fix for Entertainment News, we've got updates on the Deadpool 3 movie, our first look at Hugh Jackman as Wolverine in the film, a returning Daredevil character joins the Merc with a Mouth in its third installment, plus a whole lot more in today's Fix. Let's drop. <laughs> After decades of playing Wolverine on the big screen, we've never seen Hugh Jackman bring the iconic character to life in his tried and true X-Men uniform we're familiar with. Until now, that is. In the upcoming Deadpool 3 film, Jackman will be wearing the outfit first seen within the pages of Hulk issue number 180 back in 1962. And we know this because co-star Ryan Reynolds posted this photo to his Instagram stories showing the heroic pair walking down a dirt road. And as you can see, we've got Hugh Jackman sporting the recognizable Wolverine outfit, trading in the blue underwear for long sleeves. That's probably the most comic book accurate appearance we'll get at this time of Logan, so no complaints here. That's really wild that it's taken this long for us to see the iconic outfit show up in live action. And while it is nice that we're finally getting to see it, it would have also been quite nice to see the rest of the X-Men appear on screen in recognizable outfits. But while we might not see all of the X-Men appear in the upcoming Deadpool movie, we can look forward to them returning in the upcoming Disney Plus X-Men 97 animated series slated to release later this year. And with Deadpool 3's Wolverine bearing a striking resemblance to his animated counterpart in the teased image, perhaps the Wolverine we'll see in the film is based on that particular variant. Now, as we all know, the original Wolverine Hugh Jackman played in the X-Men films died in 2017's Logan, so perhaps the Wolverine we see in Deadpool 3 is a variant. Now, in an interview earlier this year, Jackman did say he'll be playing dual roles in Deadpool 3. Now, he didn't go into detail as to what that means, so we can only speculate at this point. But given that the MCU has entered its multiversal phase of various variants running rampant, it's possible we might be seeing a Wolverine separate from the one we've seen in previous X-Men movies. Or it might just be the Logan from X-Men Origin Wolverine as Deadpool has in fact gone back in time to clean up the MCU timeline and tease having Wolverine in the third film. Hey, it's me. Don't scratch. Just cleaning up the timelines. Look, eventually, you're gonna hang up the claws, and it's gonna make a lot of people very sad. Huh? But one day, your old pal Wade's gonna ask you to get back in the saddle again. And when he does, say yes. Oh, right. Love you. So maybe Hugh Jackman is reprising his role from the original X-Men films and potentially playing a Wolverine variant from another universe. Who knows? But it all looks pretty damn good and fans are eagerly awaiting the release of Deadpool 3. Now along with Hugh Jackman returning, we also have Jennifer Garner reprising Elektra. Yeah, that's crazy. Now the news comes from The Hollywood Reporter. Now Garner will be picking up those sides donned in red leather, taking the fight to whomever the antagonist is in Deadpool 3. And we first saw her in 2003's Daredevil movie, starring Ben Affleck as a titular hero. Now Garner then went on to reprise her role in a spin-off movie two years later. Now neither the Daredevil movie nor the solo Elektra film were box office successes, so it's a wonder why we'll be seeing Jennifer Garner reprise the role two decades later. Now hopefully it's not just for some bit part, but you know what, given the nature of the Deadpool movies, it wouldn't be too far off to assume that. Now more than likely, with the third film, Marvel Studios really wanted to you know, spare no expense when it came to rounding out the main cast with familiar faces from its previous films from the early 2000s. But with this news, we also got news earlier this year that fan favorite Domino will not be returning in Deadpool 3. Now that's according to actor Zazie Beetz. Now in an interview with The Cider, she said, quote, well, I'm actually not in Deadpool 3, so I don't know what they're doing about improvisation. I'm assuming they're probably taking a pause. I'm excited to watch it. Now, what Beats was referring to regarding improvisation is the fact that filming for Deadpool 3 is currently happening in the middle of the writer's strike. Now, as such, there's no screenwriter currently involved in the production to aid in any clever quips for the Merc with a Mouth. But Reynolds and the cast are reportedly allowed to improvise lines and scenes for the film. Now, this actually isn't new to the Deadpool franchise, as co-writer Paul Wernick told The Hollywood Reporter back in 2016, the original Deadpool movie screenplay was a single page and simply read, Ryan Adlib. 
Now, I'm not exactly sure how a Deadpool movie with a lot of improvised portions will sit with fans, but it seems the production team for Deadpool 3 is really trying to stick to its May 3rd, 2024 release date. Now that's six months ahead of its previous release date of November 8th of next year. So it appears they're not going to let the WGA strike slow them down. But let's just hope that the quality of the film doesn't suffer. Are you looking forward to the next Deadpool movie? Comment down below and let's discuss. Now one thing a lot of folks might not be looking forward to is the upcoming Peacock series, Twisted Metal. But after this latest trailer, that might turn things around. Now from the minds behind Zombieland and Deadpool, what we were just talking about, the trailer sets the tone for what we can expect to see from the PlayStation Studios series. Then we get our glimpse of Sweet Tooth, John Doe, Quiet, Raven, and a few other characters fans of the video game series might recognize. And with Anthony Mackie's John Doe trying to deliver a mysterious package, we get to see our fair share of vehicular combat as he traverses the post-apocalyptic wasteland. Now there's quite a few things that confuse me about this series as Nev Campbell plays Raven, who was a contestant in Twisted Metal Black. But in the series, she's offering to make John Doe's wishes a reality. I can make your every wish come true. So John, what do you wish for? Toilet paper, two ply. I think I can do better. Three ply? Now, first off, that's a ridiculous wish. One that I'm pretty sure the video game John Doe would never wish for, given that he doesn't even know who the hell he is. Secondly, since when was Raven able to make wishes a reality? Now, isn't that Calypso's job? I feel like, you know, we still don't have a good grasp as to what the overall scope of this series is supposed to be. I mean, given the whole campy comedic tone, it's very vastly different from the dark tones we're used to from the video game franchise. Now we'll see what it's all about later this month. Now this is PlayStation's second live action series, and with the massive success of The Last of Us, it'll be hard for Twisted Metal to hold a candle to that particular critical hit. And that was your Fix of Entertainment News. I'm Kim Lawanson, and thank you so much for watching. Now that you're caught up on today's news, please check out the new Twisted Metal trailer. Download the IGN app on all your devices, and for everything else, stick with IGN.